Good morning. Well, here it is. It's not quite cold yet, but this, this Wall Street protest thing got me uh, thinking. It's starting to get cold around here, so you know I'm getting with the uh, uh, more uh, the winter thing, and uh, I've been thinking about what would be effective action against the Wall Street bankers and uh, the corporates that really oppress us here in America. Um, normally, I have a monitor which runs on kerosene that keeps me warm during the winter. I have made a commitment. I reinstalled this uh, wood stove here in my home. I've begun to collect firewood and I've made a commitment to not pay for any fossil fuels to heat myself this winter. Now, this is very good because I'm not going to be using the banker's money to buy oil to keep myself warm. You know, that is effective action against Wall Street. We have to hurt their profits. We must develop our own systems and we must starve them out. I mean, it doesn't cost me any money to do that, to keep me warm. It doesn't cost me any money whatsoever. It just costs me a little bit of time, and I'm unemployed, so I don't have any money. So effective uh, protest is to divert your money to things that are constructive. Now, please don't think that when you send your money to the protesters in, in New York that you're helping them. The thing is, is when you send money to the protesters through PayPal or, or whatever, you're supporting the corporate oppressors. You're not helping those people. They're camped out in the park. That's great, man. They want to camp out in the park, have a good time, do some networking. That's great. But if they want to really do something, they need to hurt the profits of those Wall Street firms. Now the thing is, is boycott it and would work much more effectively. If those people assembled at their banks at noon on Monday and closed their accounts, and did not put their money back into the banking system, that would be effective action. That is what needs to happen. Because we have to take our money and put it into sustainable, sustainable things like this wood fire instead of supporting their finite, um, restricted, expensive uh, solution. And we can do this individually. We do not have to assemble. We can make a personal decision to go down to the bank and close our account. We don't need to do it. I mean, if our neighbors and everything would join us, that would be great. But I've our, you know, I, <clears throat> you make the decisions and you do the effective action for yourself. I mean, because I'm going to be able to save $500 and that's going to mean a lot of food for me. And uh, that is effective action to me. And that will, uh, you know, affect us. And the other thing, like, is, you know, BP, the BP oil spill. Last year, everybody's up in arms. That thing is still going on. There are people down in the Gulf dying still. But are you, have you, did you make the resolve to not buy BP gas? I mean, last year I was going across the country many times, and I never bought gas from British Petroleum, Arco, you know, these, this is effective action. You know, even though BP is still selling gas today, um, my resolve is still there because I think 
that they are wrong and I'm not going to support them. So that's, that's what everybody needs to do. We need to get really pissed off and stop patronizing these oppressive corporations. Thank you.